Okay, so now we've got it. So it flies, it does what we like it to, responds to colors, go to an X backdrop. Now we need to add an X backdrop. So I'll click on the backdrops over here. Or I can just go to backdrops here. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to duplicate this one. And then now what I think I might do is add something here from space. It's a lunar lander, so let's hit the moon. What the heck? All right, I'm going to stop that. And actually, drag this one up here. I wonder, can I select these and copy them? And then put them here. Fantastic, I can. So I have. So now let's go back, let's play it again, see what happens now. And it goes over here next, fantastic. But it's exactly the same thing, except now it has a backdrop on it. How can we change that to make it more challenging? Well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to add colors to it. And we can do this any way we want. We could do it just with circles and choose a color we don't have anywhere else. And I could just drop colors all over the place like this. I can like mine it if I wanted to. So now what I need to do is let's play it again. Here to here. I'm over here. I have these red bits on here, but they're not programmed to really do anything. I can go right over top of it, nothing happens. What I need you to do is figure out using what we know about these sense functions. If you're touching a color for something to happen, I want you to use that to decide, pardon me, to, um, to make it so that you're gonna have different colors in here that are going to have an impact in what happens so that when your sprite comes in contact with this color, this red color here I'm talking about, there's an adverse effect. It goes back to the beginning of the level. That is your next challenge. I'm not going to show you how to do it. Have at it. Looking forward again to seeing where you get.